How can a new agent without a long track record list expired listings? Find out on this episode of Ask Borino. Hi, welcome to Ask Borino. I'm your coach Borino. This is where you get your answers to your questions about how to get more good leads, list more good properties, help more people, and of course, make more money, earn more commissions. This week's question is from one of my students. She's been using the Expired Plus system and she's been following up with an expired listing. Her name is Chia, she's with Remax. She's been pretty persistent and it's been working pretty well until she hit a snag. The seller sent her this email. Let me, let me read it to you. I am sorry, but I need some more information from you. I have been on your website and I see you have 247 listings, company listings obviously, but I do not see that you have sold any properties. I am not interested in just listing my home and having it sit for another six months. I am also asking for references from anyone I make appointments with and would like you to provide that. I am interested in the last six months of sales and your methods of selling property. I appreciate your persistence and await that information. Well, the good news is the seller at least appreciates Chia's follow-up. She's been using my Expired Plus system and it's getting pretty good results. But what do you do when you're a newer agent and you don't have a long track record? You don't have a big past client list or a bunch of homes you sold in the neighborhood to impress the seller. Do you still have a chance to get that listing? Well, the answer is yes. It's still possible. It may not be easy, but it's definitely possible. Here is how. You being confident that you can help the seller is the key here. Sure, there are other agents with more compelling numbers, like these guys. Fact is, none of those statistics will guarantee the sellers that the property will be sold, will be sold quickly and for a good price within a short amount of time. Besides, as the famous saying goes, if you torture the data long enough, it will confess to anything. <laughs> Many sellers, and especially expired listings, jump in the driver's seat and stay in control since the other agent screwed up, the seller got burned and there is no trust. They don't trust a single agent, especially those slick, can't script salesmen. You can't be in a low status compliance position because you will be perceived as just another agent and that means it's... Where many agents get stuck is they get needy. And not just newbies, even seasoned veterans do this. They need to get that listing. They beg indirectly and sometimes even directly because they're often very desperate just to get the listing so they can get that commission so they can pay their bills. It's a bad and weak position. And bad idea, of course, that seldom works. Not you. You will do it your way. You are a high status agent, so you either do it your way or you let this one go. Either way is fine. Just do the best you can with what you have. But only one of you can be steering that wheel. Only one can be in control. It's either you or the seller. Unfortunately, in this case, in Chia's case, if the frame from the beginning was set this way so that the seller is in high strong control position and the Chia is in compliance position, it's often too late. But there is one last thing that's worth a try. Stop by Starbucks get a couple cups of coffee, stop by the house and just chat with the seller. And not like an agent with a client, just like a friend chatting with a good friend over a cup of coffee. Ask a lot of questions, that's the secret. Be inquisitive. No validating of you, no selling of you, no focus on you at all. Make the whole conversation about the seller. Get very clear and help her get clear as well. What is it exactly that she's trying to do, why and how? And then you decide if you can and if you want to help the seller. Maybe yes, maybe no, who knows. But then you know where you are. Maybe the seller has some serious control issues and can be a horrible pain in the ass and it's okay to let those go. There's plenty others out there. So take your time, connect with the seller. Deep, deep connection so there is genuine trust between the two of you. Be yourself, be honest, but also be confident, comfortable, high status pro who is in control. You've got this. This is your coach Borina. Hope you enjoyed this tip. There is more to come, so please do subscribe to the channel. More videos coming your way to help you become a real estate rock star, help more people, and earn more commissions. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you real soon. Let's go get them.